see you have to try this. This is not what I wanted. It's not good? It's okay. It's more than an ounce. Hey guys and welcome to the video. If you are new here then my name is Sarah and I still have my Christmas tree up and I am not ashamed. I know it's 2018, I know Christmas is over, but I just, I can't let go quite yet. So you probably already can tell that this clip looks a whole lot different than the rest of the clips and that is because I have just finished editing the video that you are currently watching and I lost my intro footage. So this is your new intro and for a little bit of context into the video you are about to watch me get super drunk and attempt to do my makeup. I'm also attempting to recreate the look that Taylor Swift was wearing at the 2017 Jingle Bell Ball. Now drunk me thinks that this look turned out amazing but I will let you guys be the judge. Roll the footage. All right few hours later and it's already 2018 so I think we're gonna start with eyebrows and I'm gonna use the Anastasia dip brow now this is gonna be a little bit more difficult than it usually is not only because I'm drunk but also because I lost my favorite eyebrow brush. So we're using one that I'm not super familiar with. That is on fleek. That's a good fucking eyebrow. Watch my drunk eyebrows turn out better than my real eyebrows. We can move on to primer. Make sure you shake it up. And you don't need a mirror for this because you can just feel your whole face. It's fine. So of course before you do your eyes you have to like prime them first. So I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm always in the shade fair pretty much for everything because I'm a ghost. So you literally need like the smallest amount of this and you just put it on each individual eyelid and then you blend it out. And you always want to set your creams with a powder because of course we're using powder eyeshadows. So we're going to use the Fit Me by Maybelline Loose Powder. You get 20 grams for like freaking $9. So no one's complaining about this. If my makeup turns out bomb AF, I am going to be surprised. And we're ready. So from what I understand, in the Jingle Bell Ball, Taylor Swift's makeup look, which is beautiful, and it's a cut crease with a wing liner and glitter. So we're gonna start with the eyeshadow now that our eyelids are primed. And I think our best bet, because I'm pretty sure too lazy to look back on it, she has a neutral eyeshadow look. So we're gonna take the Morphe 25B eyeshadow palette and we're gonna start there. So I'm gonna start with my absolutely favorite brush literally ever and that is the BH Cosmetics 101 brush. The lazy way to do your crease work without really trying. So we're gonna go ahead and take the fourth color in the first row and we're gonna put that in the crease. This could go wrong, this could go right. Keep going. Keep going till you see it. I'm gonna eat a lot of food after this. So, 
we're gonna go in with the fifth shade last shade in the first row do the same thing do the exact same thing keep going this is gonna be a look this is a cut crease so it's gonna need a lot of depth before we cut it so we're gonna need to go into probably let's say the first shade of the second row with the same brush welcome to the new year this is really soft that's fabulous usually i like to take the bh cosmex number six brush i haven't decided i think that we're probably gonna go in with the fifth shade from the second row it's got a little bit of shimmer in it but don't even worry because to be quite honest you guys i noticed that with glitter eyeshadow they just kind of fall off when you put them on your eyes unless you're using setting spray then it looks really good but otherwise they just kind of fall off so everything's matte anyway that's not good that's not good at all we need more pigment so it's looking pretty equal at this point so we probably just want to darken it up we're just going to go straight in to the fourth shade in the fourth row here and we're sticking with the same brush because i trust it and we have a bond don't get in your eye it freaking hurts you gotta make them equal is really hard so we're gonna go ahead and take a blending brush that is totally free of product and just blend absolutely everything that you can so that they look really nice so that the gradient effect is like from here to here really good so that's what we're gonna do steven keep on going okay you have to drink water okay so now we have to get to the part where which is the hardest part which is the cut crease part and the thing that i like to do is to start applying it kind of to the lash line and then you look really far up and like normally that's not what you want to do but when you're starting cut crease that's what you want to do i've never done a full cut crease I think I did it maybe like one time, but usually I just do like a half cut crease. So this is gonna be a really big challenge for me. We're gonna be doing an entire across the lid cut crease look. So let's just get started. Oh my chip to nail. Make sure you use the brush end of your brush. Not the other end, because we've made that mistake here before. So whenever you finish your cut crease, you want to put some skin toned, whatever your skin tone is, powder right on top. Yeah, that's good. Pretty much if you have any lines that you want to redo, just take like an angled eyeliner brush and just go in with one of the darker shades that you used in your crease and then we're just gonna put that to define the crease i mean that's on fleek the problem with this next step is that we're gonna do some winged eyeliner and when you go to fix that you pretty much just get this kind of experience where you're just layering upon layering and it gets to be this thick wing that you really don't want and we're gonna use my favorite eyeliner ever in the whole world ever which is the physician's formula eye booster pen literally you can't go wrong with this i think i've been using this using this for my whole life and we're gonna make a wing <laughs> Why do you have that face? Like I'm saying something hilarious. <laughs> I can't really see you at all. 
All right, let's go. No. Oh. That's really good. Prepare yourself. Hold your face steady. That's fucking thick. Really concentrate during this part because it's very important. Babe, do you get more carrots? No, I put them away. <laughs> That's not the best. Let's keep going. If they're equally as bad as, okay. But I'm pretty sure the next absolute next step is going to be glitter. Which is something in my opinion that you really can't mess up. So we're going to go and do that. We're going to put that on the top line of the winged eyeliner. And you're not going to notice any of our mistakes now. Don't worry if this burns your eyes a little bit. That is just what glitter does. That's good. It's not that good, but it's good enough. So now that we've put our primer on like a, probably an hour ago, we're going to go in with our foundation, which is the CoverGirl Vitus, Vitalist Elixir Foundation. And we're going to put this on uh, L'Oreal Spend, which is kind of controversial because they are different brands, but we're doing it anyways. Why am I putting on this big fun just to go to bed? Honestly, the eyes part is my favorite part because it's more challenging. This part is just kind of really annoying and boring and I'm really tired of freaking hitting me in the face with a sponge. So at this point you want to hit yourself in the eyeballs with some concealer. So we're going to again take the Tarte and concealer and put that under the eyes. That's enough. You really don't need a lot. Honestly, this is probably too much. So I'm sure that's totally fine for concealer and we're going to set it with some powder which we always use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder because it's the best and it's really affordable. This is not the best makeup in the world because it sucks. So because to be honest I feel like skipping contouring. We're just going to go ahead and start bronzing which is pretty much the same as contouring. It's just a different color absolutely beautiful and we're gonna put that all over the face where you would bronze so like three three you know what I'm saying this is probably good enough we need to go back into some eyeshadow so so I'm going to go ahead and take a BH Cosmetics number 11 brush. This is a flat defining brush. And we're going to go into the first shade here in the first row. And we're just going to run that over the lower lash line. A torture device for your eyelashes. So we're going to go ahead and curl our eyelashes. And then we're going to put on some mascara. And if I'm brave enough, I might even put on some false eyelashes. We should move on to the face, which means blush. So I'm going to take the Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Love and put that on my face. Can't mess this up. So obviously to complete this look before we put on some lipstick, we need to highlight our faces because they're not highlighted enough for the world ever. So we're gonna use this Rodeo Drive by Ofra and this highlighter, I don't even, can't, I don't know. That's so good, watch. Like, are you serious? right now oh, it's too much it's too much all 
Alright, so now I feel like the pretty much the last thing left is the lipstick. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And honestly, the entire time I was watching the Jingle Bell Ball, I really couldn't understand if she was wearing red lipstick because it's Taylor Swift or if she was wearing a different color. Turns out I'm pretty sure that in my brain she was wearing like a very pinkish red lipstick. And I'm pretty sure I got something like that in my collection. So, so with that, we're going to take the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Santa Ana. And we are going to put that onto our mouth. So honestly, I think that turned out absolutely the best that it absolutely could. So we're going to go ahead and just set this entire beautiful makeup look into place so that we can be Taylor Swift for the rest of our lives. So I'm going to go ahead and take this Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray and go to town. Alright you guys, so this is my look that I've done. I think it turned out honestly pretty damn good. So pretty much this is not exactly what Taylor Swift did, but I think it's close enough. So I'm pretty happy with it. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up up i would appreciate it and you can always leave some comments down below in the comment section if you want to request a video idea if you just want to say hello because honestly i love to say hi to you guys and i will see you in my next video in 2018 bye